So, how to create a game for Android devices, part 2. And on this part, we're going to install Sigwin for Windows. On the first part of this tutorial, we downloaded the Android SDK, the Eclipse, the Android NDK, and the Cocos 2DX. Now we need to install Sigwin for Windows. So, download and install Sigwin for Windows. And when installing, make sure to check install for all the mixed files. This second step is very important. If you don't do this, you're going to have problems when trying to build your game inside Eclipse. So the download links are in the description below. So to download Sigwin, just go ahead and type Sigwin on a new Google tab and navigate to the Sigwin homepage. Inside the Sigwin homepage, go ahead and look for your version of Sigwin and the latest DLL version. So you can either run the 32-bit installation or the 64-bit installation. So I'll show you how to install this. So go ahead, download it and then double click the installation file. On the wizard, click next, install from the internet, choose a root directory to install Sigwin, click next, and a local package directory, click next, choose a direct connection, and choose uh, an available download site. This changes every time. Uh, for this case, I'm going to use the fourth link. So click next. And it's going to start downloading some files. And on this part, you have to search for the make packages. This step is very important. So search for make. And click. As you can see, it's all default. So you click on these two arrows. And you make them make sure it changes to install so install for the make packages and click next and then when you click next it's going to start downloading and installing sigwin for you on your computer i already uh, do this step so i'm going to skip this but you just go ahead and download and install sigwin So, until now, you should have the Eclipse Indigo install, the Android SDK, the Cocos 2DX, the Android NDK, and the Sigwin for Windows installed. If you already have all this installed and ready in your PC, now you're ready to create your first Cocos 2DX project. And I'll show you that on my next video.